be using full address. And simultaneously, if you want to add more than uh, two bits, four, five bits, you'll be using parallel address. So for example, if you are using one plus one is equal to one zero, only two bits you are adding. So for this, you require a half address. If it is one plus one plus one, three bits you are adding, okay? And this is three, which is equal to one one, these are leading zeros. For such circuits, you require full address. And when you are using more, say suppose first number is represented by x, the second number is represented by y, when you add these numbers bit wise, it will yield one sum and a carry. Sometimes carry can be generated, sometimes carry need not be generated as well. So depending on uh, what you are getting, you will be doing it. So overall carry is known as an overflow carry because it is going out of So, for this, you require what is known as a parallel adder. So, this is how you will be considering the binary addition. Next, let us see octal addition. The numbers that are allowed are 0 to 7. So, let us put a table here plus your addition, 7 numbers here and 7 numbers here. When you are adding with 0, you will get the same number, so there is not a problem. When you are adding 1 to this, 1 plus 0 is 1, 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Finally, when it comes to 1 plus 7, which is 8, but what is 8? 8 is 1, 0 in binary. Okay? Similarly, 2 plus uh, 6, 3 plus 5, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 3, 6 plus 3. So, diagonally you can fill up this term. Let us see this number 11. When will you get 11? 2 plus 7 is 9. What is 9? 9 is in decimal system which is equal to 1 1. Similarly 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 5, 5 plus 4, 6 plus uh, 3 is 7 plus 6. 12. When will you get 12? 12 is what? 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 means 8 ones are 8, 2 remainder, so 12. Like that you will be filling up the table. Last one is 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 is 8 ones are 8, remainder is 6, so it is 16. So this is how you will be verifying 10, 11, like this. Either 3 plus 6 or 6 plus 3. 4 plus 5, 5 plus 4. Like that, you will be verifying. Let me show you how to add more than two digits, more than one digit first. So suppose you are taking 47 plus 35. Don't write it as 47 because you get confused this with decimal number. So read it as 4, 7 and 3, 5 in octal. So what should you do? You must add digits separately. Direct method, directly you add 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is 1, 4. There is a carry here. This is carry. Okay. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 3, 8. But 8 you are doing in decimal. It is actually equal to 1, 0. So 1, 0, 4 should be the answer. Now how do you do this? 1, 0, 4. So when you convert this into binary, 1 is 0, 0, 1, 0 is all zeros, uh, 4 is 1, 0, 0. We are using only 3 bits here because it is an octal uh, representation, octal number representation. So how do you go about this? 4. How do you write 4 as 1, 0, 0? How do you write 7 as 1, 1 and 1? 3, 5. 3 is 0, 1 and 1. 5 is 1, 0, 1. So add them, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, that is a carry, 3 and is 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, that is a final carry. Now represent each digit separately, this is 1, this is 0, this is 4, so it is very fast. Yet another way, very common and uh, if you are comfortable, convert this bit into decimal, into binary and then perform the addition, which is very laborious, but if you want a verification and make sure that you get the correct answer, you can do this. Otherwise, this is the correct procedure. Okay? Let us now move on to hexadecimal addition. Hexadecimal addition, so what we do? Uh, the numbers that are allowed are, what are the numbers that are allowed? Um, you will be using uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the numbers we will be using. What will you get? One zero, one one. Now I know how to do this. So suppose we are taking nine plus b. Example, b is eleven. Eleven plus nine is twenty, which is in uh, decimal. So how do you convert? It's one four in six. Similarly, a plus b, ten plus eleven, twenty one, which is one five. So like this, we prepare a table. Zero to f. After addition, I show you. Similarly, you construct a table. Maybe you can construct all these uh, tables in uh, Excel sheet. Put G B T F on horizontal, like this. Vertical like this. Add the numbers and write. So suppose here it is one plus six, it is seven. One plus F, fifteen plus one, sixteen is whatever you are getting. You write. Another example. Let me take more than uh, till now. I have shown you how to add single digits. Suppose I take this number, something like seven c plus a d. So divide this into two halves. Add the least significant bit first, then this. C plus d. C is twelve. D is thirteen. So it is twenty-five. And twenty-five is one nine in hex. So I write one uh, nine nine here and I carry here. One plus seven eight. Eight plus ten eighteen, which is one two. So finally, what is the answer? And the answer is. Uh, one two. The answer is one, two, and nine. So like this, you can verify, construct this table, and verify. Okay. Till now, we were seeing um, what were we discussing the uh, addition. Now let us see the subtraction of these two numbers, binary numbers. So for that, what will you do in computers? The subtraction is implemented as addition of a negative number. That means if you want to do a minus b, this minus b is actually a negative of b, also known as complement of b. Arrive with this number, but shortcut and easier method is division by 16. Whatever reminders you are getting, express each one of them separately by the binary equivalent. So 2 is what you are getting. Write 2 as 0010 and b as 1011. Okay, and 21. How do you write 21? Again 15. So write 1 as 0001 and 5 as 0101. Now the difference what you are getting was 22. 22 is 16. It's one and six in binary. So now how do I implement this? So B was what was B? B was uh, one five, one and five. To get minus B, what should you do? Complement it. Add it to A. This is minus B. Add it to A. One plus zero one. One plus one one zero. One. One plus one zero. And this is a carry. So this is one. One plus one again zero, carry. One plus one zero, there is a carry. One plus one zero, and there is a carry. So there is a carry. Add it back, and this carry is referred to as end on carry. So bring it back. One plus one zero one one zero one. The answer is one two. So you can do this way also. Suppose you take a number directly in binary. How do you do? A, B, okay. So this is A, this is six, this is seven, this is four. Six minus four two, 
ओल्ड इस्टन टेन माइनस सेवन इज थ्री सो द आंसर दैट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इज थर्टी टू इन हेक्सा डेसिमल नोटेशन सो टेक बी टेक इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट वॉट इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट वन जीरो ऑल जीरो टू वन एंड वन टू बी फ्लिप्ड टू जीरो दिस इज टू बी एडेड बैक टू ए वॉट वॉज यूर ए ए वॉज वॉट एवर इज यूर ए ए वॉज दई एम नंबर ए ए सिक्स दट इज वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो एड दिस टू दिस इज वॉट यू आर गेटिंग in this case uh, there was no carry issue so that was not added so this is one way of doing it another way is uh, binary subtraction using two's complement two's complement is nothing but one's complement plus one so take the same example okay the difference is first step is remaining the same taking one's complement now add one to one's complement Okay, this is an intermediate uh, step that is added uh, to what was not there in one's complement. That means one's complement plus one becomes two's complement. You get this. You are adding one. This is again added back to a. Okay, so there is a carry. We must ignore the carry because uh, already this one addition, addition of one has already been taken care of here. So there is no need of this. Fine. So your homework will be write the decimal number, write the binary number. Okay, and write you write a decimal number here. Okay, here into this you write decimal number. Here you write. binary number then write once complement write twos complement maybe you can do it up one up to 25 okay so that's how you will be doing this 